All right, welcome back to another episode of 840 Customs. We are going to wrap up the Cadillac today. I know I said there was going to be four episodes in this series. Turns out that week three kind of was a wash because uh, we got some damaged parts and we uh, basically lost that whole day worth of work. So we are going to group weeks three and four and then episode four is going to be Hot Rod Power Tour West itself. Cadillac should be ready to go and buttoned up by the end of this video and then we are going to head out. <laughs> All right, so we pulled the heater box out of the Cadillac finally. Uh, I had to take the hood hinge off of the car. Um, this hood hinge was, is bolted in here. To get this out, uh, we just pulled the hinge to pull it out. That way we didn't have to try to snake it out. And you'll see there's a bunch of junk in here. So this is the AC condenser. Oh, no. This is the... Hulk! What? This is the condenser or the evaporator? This is the condenser. This is a condenser? Oh, no, it would be the evaporator. I think it's the evaporator. It's on the evaporator side. The condenser's up front underneath the yeah, evaporator. Yeah. Okay. This is the AC evaporator. It is in the heater core box. There's no lines or AC pump or anything. So we're gonna take this out uh, and just gonna give us some more space. Um, and then I have to change, you can see in here, I have to change this heater core out. Um, because that's what's leaking. We're gonna pull that out, put all of this back together, and uh, put the hood back on, and we should be good. I ordered a new heater core for the Cadillac, and uh, it, it was pretty smooshed in uh, shipping. So I put water in it, and it, it comes out where it's not supposed to come out. It's not good. Thanks, Rock Auto. Hey, I just got off the phone with AutoZone. They're gonna order me a replacement one that'll be here in a couple days. I'm gonna send this trash back to Rock Auto and uh, hopefully I don't need to use the alternator either. Hopefully I can just fix that. So we're gonna do some electrical, hopefully we can get all that working and then uh, next week we'll put the uh, heater core back in and we'll be done. All right, Buick's been sitting over here in our friend shop. We uh, come over here every week and just start it up and run it, make sure the battery stays charged and everything. But as soon as we get back from Hot Rod Power Tour, we are taking this thing apart and putting our uh, built LS in it so we can get that thing driving around. We are going to go ahead and start it up and let it run. The rear windows, so we we just put black silicone all the way around the rear window because we don't have all the trim and we don't have all the stuff to put the trim on the car, so we will uh, deal with that later. And then we also did three of the four spots on the front window. This one has trim still, so we'll leave that. So we're hoping that uh, keeps the water out at least for now. Um, we have some rust repair to do. When this car gets back, we'll dig all that silicone out, take the windows out, we'll get new windows, all that kind of stuff. So it's uh, coming along. And then we have the heater core. So this is where the heater core was, all right in this area. We cleaned all that up, did a lot of rust repair. I have the hinge just sitting up here on this cowl. That way we can get the air box in and out of here. It's kind of ghetto, but we have everything kind of secured with this, this tube. So it's getting there. We have a couple other things to do. I am gonna change the alternator on this car. I did hook up the wires that were just sitting in here. That didn't fix the issue. So we're gonna put a new alternator in next week. That'll be quick and new belts. And I think, fingers crossed, that's it. Back out here again, working on the Cadillac. I gotta wrap this thing up this weekend. This car is leaving on Thursday, so it's got to get all back together. I've been out here for about two hours already. I have the heater core and the boxes back in. Um, I'm going to swap the alternator. I'm going to put side mirrors on it. I'm going to put another decal on it. A couple other things, odds and ends. It should be a good day, and uh, hopefully I can get it all done today. Don't have to be here tomorrow, but I'll probably be here tomorrow.
He's out of the shop. I'm gonna borrow this uh, tire off the Buick, it's off the front. So I put the donut on, it's, it's really, really small. This is gonna be the spare for our trip. The outer diameter of this tire is almost exactly the same as what's on the Cadillac. We'll use that just in case. All right, end of day eight, eight. I think it's day eight working on this. Um, yeah. So end of day eight, uh, I got the heater core box back in, alternator in, new belts on. Uh, the power steering pump is giving us some trouble, so we ordered a new one of those. Uh, we'll change that in Vegas, that'll be fun. But uh, car's up on the lift for the night. We'll come back tomorrow. We are gonna finish up a few things with the heater box and uh, check some wiring tomorrow, pack up some tools and get ready for the trip. All right, last day working on the Cadillac before we go to a Hot Rod Power Tour. It is Sunday, the event, well, I leave for the event on Thursday. So I'm trying to wrap the car up today. I got those uh, couple bolts to put in, uh, in the heater box. And then I think I just have a blown fuse, but I need to check some electrical inside the car, see why the charging port is not working. And then just a few little odds and ends to clean the shop up and then pack up the car for the trip. So hopefully I can just get in the car on Thursday, throw it on the trailer and then get out of here. I don't have to do any work uh, here. Uh, in Vegas, we do have to put a power steering pump in this car because it sounds like a banshee screaming in there. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna try to get the carb tuned as well. I'm just not super well versed in carbs. I, we got it running, but it's not running great. So hopefully we can get all of that finished before the event. Here we go. All right guys, we are finally done with this car, at least at this stage for this video, we're gonna be done. I think total we're at nine days of thrashing on this car. My dad was here for the first six days. Um, he flew in for three days uh, in October and then uh, three days in November. And we just kind of put it back together the last couple days. So we went over the whole car, made sure everything was safe. We looked at the brakes, we looked at the suspension. Uh, we ended up repacking the front wheel bearings on this car put new shocks all around, did some interior work, put a 12 volt power outlet in there. That way we have power on our trip. We put side mirrors on this car. It didn't have any when we got it. We fixed the carburetor issue, put new fuel hoses and a fuel filter on this car. Man, we've done a ton. We had all the tires signed off by a local shop that they're safe to drive on the highway and they will get us the whole thousand miles that we plan on driving this car. We siliconed the glass in because the trim is MIA at the minute. Uh, we have the trim, it's just all disorganized and uh, all the clips are broken. So we will uh, deal with that later. When we get back from Power Tour, this car is gonna get kind of blown apart. We're gonna take all the glass out. We're gonna take all of the interior out. The motor and trans are coming out of this car and we're gonna swap it. This is gonna be a fun build once we get back, but we just wanted to go enjoy it for Power Tour. We got the blower motor on a switch because none of the interior buttons work. We got a new heater core in this thing, a new alternator, new belts. It's been a lot. So in the last nine days that you've been watching this video, we have accomplished quite a bit on this car. We put super cool graphics on the back. We got the skirts kind of figured out a little bit better because they were kind of falling off the car. I feel good. The car is now licensed and insured. We can drive it on the road. We're gonna go do Hot Rod Power Tour West, uh, which would be the first time in several years that they're doing a West Coast one. We're excited to be part of it. This uh, thing better run all that way. It's gonna be a lot of driving in those couple days. Sam's gonna come with us and record, so we'll have good footage of the show and the uh, driving portions and hopefully um, the little 
tiny bit of fixing that we need to do. We do appreciate if you would like, comment, and subscribe. We are still growing. I mean, this is a small operation. We have a small building with a couple of cars that are fun. And we do appreciate any help that we can get. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.